Hey guys, it's me Parker. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a Scorpio reading for the week of July 2nd to July 8th. So let's just jump right in. I've been shuffling for a little bit off camera. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Let's see what's coming through in this reading for you guys. You or someone around you. And if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, hello. <laughs> Messages for Scorpio, please. Do two more shuffles. What's coming through for Scorpio, please, for this week? Energies, Scorpio is in, or someone around them. I want to get all the cards out on the table, and then we'll talk about what came out. Okay, nice, nice. I saw that in the shuffle. Messages for Scorpio, please. Okay. okay. Well, somebody has a choice to make here, for sure. So, we have three that came out. We have the Fool, Major for Aries. It's the very first card in Tarot. The, ma the first Major Arcana. In this deck, it's a mermaid, but she's looking out to shore. She's starting a new journey, but it's a major new cycle. The second card out was Temperance. There's a lot of water going on. So, weird message, but some of you need to hydrate yourselves. <laughs> or water or something there's some a level of nourishment coming in with this reading so temperance major for sagittarius see how she's dipping her foot in the cool water there it's a healing balancing energy it does signify the divine i just heard divine timing but there's a level of balancing out leveling out nourishment coming in that's allowing for contributing or part of this new beginning. And then the Ten of Wands in this deck, that is, it's a very optimistic Ten of Wands in this deck. Typically, someone's carrying those Ten of Wands and their back is literally breaking. It's like super hard work, really burdensome. Maybe they're worried. In this one, it's already broken through the skull. It has a weird energy. In this deck because it's already giving rise to the leaves like the tree of life is already sprung forth the ending has already kind of happened it's optimistic it's not so dried out and burdensome it's like it's already broken through that skull it's almost already happened so with these two here endings and beginnings comes out all the time in tarot we're just at some point in their energetic cycle with an ending of something in a beginning that's all we're like ever doing right but i'm gonna clarify this first because this is like the current point in the cycle relating to like worry something needs to be abated here like nourished there's a nourishment coming in with this reading we have the lovers and the seven of cups that person sees all of those lamps there and can make a wish it's typically like cups in the sky it's a card of fantasy sometimes illusions but it's also options with the lovers here major for gemini that's a decision but it's also in this deck like this deck is like a fairy tale kind of deck and that's beauty and the beast there beauty is taming the beast the lovers and the lovers major for gemini is all about 
the twins, like the energy of Gemini, but it's the masculine and feminine beauty and beast. Again, very nurturing energy coming in with this empress kind of taming the beast there, the feminine. And then there's king of cups, your major. Your major here coming in with like a giftier reciprocal energy. This is interesting. We have your major here attached to another emperor. Some of you have Aries, Aries placements or someone around you has Aries. This could have to do with work as well. Uh, new pentacle coming in with this full cycle. Death, the ending. There's that skull there. This is taking control to could be a business leader or you know rules an empire very justly they have a sort of truth in this deck that's a very just but yet calm like nourished emperor there i'm seeing his knee knee plates there as water drop but some of you really need to hydrate that's like a weird funny message coming through but this is very nourished energy as well so i want to clarify this worry and burden because that's kind of what's changing out use the stack tell me about the ten of wands what is the ten of wands regarding balance <laughs> hmm. tell me you, oh, itchy it's almost like I should take that card but I'm gonna see what actually comes out it just looks so similar to that tree two more shuffles tell me about ten of wands please for Scorpio why is the Ten of Wands out here? Creation. Hmm. Anything else for the Ten of Wands, please? For Scorpio. Respondents. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Respondents. I'm kind of getting a chaotic energy. Kind of getting a chaotic energy off this reading now. See the way her hands are flailing up like those tree roots. But that is like Gaia. Like Mother Earth. She's despondent. She's looking, looking over at... Gaia there, she doesn't seem very pleased with despondence. But we have, this is indigo, this is the crown chakra, which is like connecting to spirituality or spirit. It's looking to me like spirit is there, right? Like spirit's kind of all over this reading. And then we have actually spirit itself with creation. There's that tree imagery again of like that nourishment or that blessing. Whoever this reading is for, they're having some kind of blessing or like spirits touching the energy of the situation or this cycle for them. I don't think this person really sees it, but we have that miracle energy. Yeah, miracle on the bottom and then impatience. We do have trickery as well, so I'm getting kind of like a given up, especially with this card because it can be so burdened and weary. There's like a given up energy on behalf of this person. And especially with that nourishment, nourish yourself energy, we have miracle and impatience. They, maybe they feel it should be here yet, but spirits like up, 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 <laughs> right? They can't actually reach or touch it. Spirit is like, you know, 
they're trying to with that ladder but this is something that spirit has a hand in and then with that nourished tree of life spirit is like gifting there's a woman in there like gifting just like that tree spirits touching something for this person actually it's a miracle and then i kept seeing joy and their hands are up as well i think that's pretty clear with the temperance because that's exactly what temperance is is when spirits like coming in and touching a situation but i'll clarify that to see if anything else like specific comes out or more enlightening about that but with impatience, again, this person has kind of a given up energy with this. Tell me about temperance for Scorpio, please. It might be hard work that you've put into something and you're like not seeing any fruits of your labor here we'll see what comes out what is being tempered here we'll do two more shuffles any temperance Do one more. One more shuffle. Tell me about temperance, please, for Scorpio. Temperance for Scorpio, please. Okay. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, that's a not giving up energy. It's literally the card of not giving up with impatience not giving up the energy being breathed and nourishment into this situation it's definitely a card of like keep going anything else about temperance and the nine of wands Mm -hmm. Anything else, please, Spirit? Okay. King of Wands, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. So, with we have the Two of Pentacles coming out. I'm seeing that as because Temperance is. A balancing energy with all that movement the two of pentacles is a card of like juggling something back and forth can indicate decisions but with this two of pentacles there's an infinity symbol they're kind of just hold it's just representing to me this energy that's kind of brewing with spirit with this this impatience, I'm despondent, giving up, throwing your hands up, energy, too much work. This can be a card of too much work, too. With this creation, that the balance is coming in with temperance, which is divinity, creation, miracle, you know, and that impatience and it's being brought in by spirit. The way that this person is not actually touching those two pentacles there, it just feels to me like spirit's handling it, like the energy's moving. That's kind of, to me, spirit moving energy in this situation with that impatient energy, right? Like spirit's trying to work it out, right? With all those arms there. And then literally the card of nine of wands the card of not giving up came out. This is a card. It's very like nine to the ten of wands. is like I have one more push left in me. I have more fight left in me. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up yet. And then the king of wands is here. 
with this full energy that's more Aries but that's a very charismatic energetic king of all the kings in tarot like he has the most energy man or woman but it's like if this is work it's like he's the boss he's the leader he's charismatic he inspires people but he has energy that's what I'm getting and fights for what he believes in I want to pull one for this king of wands also coming out with temperance that Sagittarius energy as well lots of Sagi and Aries here but that's also charismatic and passionate energy like renewed passion we have a seven of wands on the bottom that's like can be a defensive just to me it's looking like that despondent energy here but it's also a card of defending especially if you put a lot of work into something mm. With this, that really feels, we have a three and nine of cups, or a five and nine of cups. That really feels like a lack, again, a lack of nourishment, a lack of enjoyment for the situation. Again, if you're pushing, pushing, pushing on something, you're not seeing the fruits of your labor or feels dead to you. Or it needs that nourishment with that creativity. You're not feeling enjoyment anymore. It Again, it needs that reinvigoration of the king of wands to come in like do these these two energies I know it's hard to see because the cards are holographic but do these energies look like the energies of someone who's backing down or giving up or throwing their hands up in a situation not at all but with these two cards this is the card of personal enjoyment wish fulfillment and abundance but with the five of cups that's some that's a fish out of water that's a mermaid out of water there she's up on land with that lack of nourishment for the situation so for some of you yes spirits working at bringing this in but it does require you to hang in there or also for some of you the fire needs to be breathed back into like a final push or like a keep going but with the lack of stamina coming in with the despondence and the impatience and the ten of wands it's like hang in there or you need to give this more effort than you've been giving it if you want to see the outcome that you want some of you i'm getting a vibe that spirit is gifting you this energy through the form of inspiration or actually like infusing energy into the situation and it's affecting you physically like you feel like you have the ability to keep going for some of you you have to find that within yourself but that's a king that does not give up at all we'll do two more shuffles i was just gonna say king of wands okay that's fine. Uh, anything else about this king there? Okay. Just king of wands. Knight of wands. It's a lot of worry about it. Knight of wands. Ooh, the empress. Yeah. The empress is abundance. It's nurturous. I am also getting like a mother guy energy off that. That could be coming in in the form of resources major for libra but this is like rushing in it's knight of wands it's passionate it's that renewed energy right for some of you i was saying like um spirit is kind of bringing this energy in for some of you this nourishment either way there's nourishment coming in on behalf of spirit I, that's just what i see this in as right and then she's very luxurious abundant that's also like that renewed vigor coming in or passion for this project the the lack of enjoyment that we saw on the bottom like the enjoyment or comfortability coming back into the picture for some of you though it is requiring action or you to stick it out again 
with the King of Wands. So let's look now at the Fool. With the decision energy too, like many different ways that this can play out. There can be an illusion here with the despondence and the impatience. There is a degree of illusion going on for this King of Wands or disparity. The decision to stick it out. The lovers also indicates the divinity, that the divine is present. Tell me about the fool, please. For Scorpio. Tell me about the fool. Clarify the fool, please, for Scorpio. Okay. Eight of Wands. That's the energy moving. Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, that's all about passion, action, and charisma. These Pentacles. It's coming in. And again, the fool does jump off the cliff. She's taking a chance going out of water. She's eyeing up a land there. This is a new, with the miracle and the creation. Again, I'm seeing it as that nourishment. And I did mention it could come in the form of physical resources coming into the picture here. The Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, nice. That is momentum momentum here it's energy moving sometimes that looks like actual movement or travel or communication but in this instance it's like that energy moving with spirit and then that nurturance that abundance like that very nourishing energy just flowing in and infusing into the situation and then the six of wands with the moon there is hidden success here Hidden success, attention going on here with the moon behind the scenes. It's just unknown with this giving up energy. This is an energy of don't give up too. It's like I won the war. I'm seeing the spoils of my efforts here. Very encouraging message from a spirit, to be honest. Like spirits all over this reading. We have to kind of meet spirit. You were this person halfway here. Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's just it's rushing in with that Empress on the bottom. And then we have that Nine of Cups again. Pleasure on the split celebration. This is like a healing, sitting back, resting energy. She is meditating there with spirit coming in. This is celebration celebration and enjoyment that pleasure pleasure and wish fulfillment is all over that and then that knight of wands that energy rushing in the empress king to the queen of pentacles queen to the king of coins interesting masculine and feminine for some this is work <clears throat> for sure For some, this is work, and I am kind of getting a vibe for some of you that just sticking it out with this situation, with this, is a lot of new things. It could be a totally new opportunity coming in for you, but there's something about the situation over here that's kind of brewing where it's like you have to kind of stick it out or make it work or, you know, have that last push to make that happen, for that to come in. There's enter, like that two of pentacles, that brewing of spirit there. And then that success could be attention as well. Again, that attention for your efforts, right? But this king <clears throat> with that stance of not giving up is like does not have to fight for that. Really, he demands it. He demands it. So I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. I wish you all the best. Until next time, take care.